To make data-driven decisions that stretch your budget further, the first step is getting all your data in a format that lets you compare apples to apples. Platforms often have different names for metrics, such as cost, or different formats for fields, such as date. In order to compare these directly, you'll need to standardise your data set using a data dictionary. A data dictionary is a list of ideal front-facing field names that marketers use to unify or data map information from multiple data sources into a single analytics-ready data set. The first step in building a data dictionary is to understand the data that you have. Identify the fields that are relevant for your analysis and determine which ones you need to focus on. It's important to differentiate between similar fields and assign them meaningful names. For instance, if you have fields like reach and daily reach, ensure they're clearly labelled to avoid any confusion. Step two is gaining a proper understanding of the limitations and discrepancies in your data. In particular, watch out for non-aggregatable metrics, such as reach. Verify your fields are accurately named to prevent potential errors, such as unintentional merging or incorrect calculations, and pay close attention to field names to ensure data integrity. Next, it's time to get aligned across teams to determine the specific business questions your data should answer. Think about what you need from your final data set, who in your teams will be using and consuming this data, and how you can meet everyone's needs while working towards a unified set of goals. Once you've figured that out, you'll need to define the data you want to include in your final data set and decide on the desired format. It's important to avoid getting caught up in semantic debates. Instead, focus on selecting standardized names for fields that will make sense to any team at any stage, from data engineers to marketing and agency teams. It's also useful to consider general rules of thumb to adopt. For example, for any fields that are made up of more than one word, you might choose to replace spaces with underscores or to use camel case. Ironing out these rules and discrepancies right at the beginning can save you a lot of time and hassle down the line, helping you to mitigate the risk of having multiple values for the same field within your data set. The last step is to design workflows that streamline the cleaning and combination of data into the format you need. This means creating the data schema that defines how you'll transform your data into a standardized data set, using this as the blueprint for all your data mapping. You'll need to workshop this workflow at the beginning of the process and figure out what you can automate to streamline your data mapping. Unless you have a third party tool like Inverity that manages connector updates for you, then you'll also need to keep an eye out for any maintenance that needs to be done around API updates. For example, if Google Analytics changes one of its field names or the way it calculates a certain metric. Consider aspects such as data storage, processing and harmonization techniques, user specific displays and the need for training programs or technology change management. A data dictionary is a valuable asset for marketers and organizations navigating the complexities of data analysis. By following these five steps, you can effectively organize and unify your data so that you can make better decisions.